Welcome to Variant One Shot, I'm your host, Eris Quinones. Now, a lot of you guys have been wondering what my thoughts are on X-Men Days of Future Past, and normally I would have reviewed the movie sooner, but I've been at Comic-Cons the last two weekends, so I haven't had the chance to see the movie till last night. But now that I've seen the movie, here are my thoughts. I thought the movie was great, it's tied with X2 for being my favorite X-Men movie. The opening sequence was especially awesome, it was like Brian Singer's apology to us fans for leaving the director's seat after X2 to direct the tragedy of a movie that was called Superman Returns. That movie can go F itself. As for the movie sticking close to the comic storyline it was based off of, it didn't stick exactly close to the comic, but I thought the changes worked for the movie, so it didn't bother me much. I really liked the nods to the previous X-Men movies and the references that readers of the comics would only pick up on, like Quicksilver referencing that Magneto is his father, among a bunch of other stuff I don't want to spoil for you guys if you haven't seen the movie yet. The film did a pretty good job tying all the X-Men movies together, given it wasn't flawless as most time travel stories have plot holes or things that make you go, wait, what? But as I just said, I think they did a good job with it overall. The action was awesome, I really enjoyed Quicksilver a lot, which was surprising as I didn't think I was going to like him given all the stuff I saw of him before I saw the movie. But I actually wish he was in the movie more. With that said though, I still think Aaron Taylor Johnson is going to be an even better Quicksilver in Avengers Age of Ultron. It was also cool seeing such a huge cast of X-Men and mutants in this movie, especially Blink, purely because the way she handled her teleportation portals. It reminded me of Nightcrawler in X2. Imagine seeing both those in a scene together. It would blow my mind. As for complaints, I really don't have much. Quicksilver, although I liked him, I thought his costume was horrible, along with some other characters. I also didn't like the wire work they used for some of the characters to make them fly or do flippies, especially Beast. They used it when he was running on all fours or jumping in the air and stuff, and it just looked a little fake and unnatural. I would rather have those parts been CGI. But as I said, I really like the movie and give it an 8.5 out of 10. 